Air superiority is that first mission we talked about. This is what it looks like in the air. Next slide. This is what it looks like from the ground. All air superiority is is the ability to allow our ground and maritime forces freedom to attack and freedom from attack. Now, since the Korean War, this nation has deployed about 7 million men and women at arms to different contingencies around the world, and tens of thousands of them have died there. None of them have died as a result of enemy air attack. That doesn't happen by accident. We kind of make it look easy. We have for a long time, but there's an awful lot behind the scenes going on to make this possible. This costs money, it requires high-end training, and it requires a dedicated force of people who can do it on a large scale. This requires an Air Force. The Army, the Marine Corps, the Navy cannot do this on their own, not for a theater size event. They can do it over their organic units, but not to support a theater commander. That's why nations have Air Forces.